Pull compensation or column width, when and why. Pull compensation is a quality improvement to your embroidery. If you're digitizing or stitching onto a soft fabric, the the pressure of the stitches pull in, so the column is going to be narrower than what you digitize on your screen. Realizing that, you can apply a pull compensation to allow for the pull to come in. So you can see in this case we've got an edge run and a zigzag underlay and the distances in from the edge are 0.2 for the zigzag and 0.35 of a millimeter for the edge run and you can see one sitting just slightly inside the inside the other. And the outside line is actually the shape of the the vector, it's the outline which is uh, um, which we've drawn. So I turn pull compensation on and off and it's back on again at 0.17 of a millimeter. Now if I widen the column simply by dragging it out you can see that everything remains pretty much the same. We've got 0.17 of a millimeter pull compensation outside the vector line and the distance from the vector line back to the underlay is exactly the same, 0.2 and 0.35 of a millimeter. However, if I make the pull compensation 0.59 of a millimeter in this case, you can see that the the stitching is extended outside the vector line, but basically the uh, underlays remain where they were. Now, if I apply column width, the underlays come with the column width. The line that's flashing on and off now is actually the vector line. So now the underlay line is outside the vector. So basically you use column width when you want to make a column wider. You use pull compensation when you're allowing for a, the pull um, phenomenon that happens on a soft fabric.